Why is it that some parts of the air change the temperatures on Earth in a way that most of our air cannot? What makes the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide special? Just how does CO2 make planets hotter? First, let's try out the nitrogen and the oxygen molecules. Just these two gases alone make up almost all of the Earth's atmosphere, 99% of dry air. We breathe in oxygen to stay alive. Oxygen and nitrogen molecules shoot around and spin around, bumping off of things and each other. But as we see, they are very rigid molecules. They are kind of like dumbbells in how they move. Their bodies can only shake around just a tiny amount. Next, let's explore the carbon dioxide molecules. Shaking them, we find they can easily jiggle. They are not rigid at all. That carbon dioxide molecules can vibrate is an essential part of what makes them different. How they are able to trap radiated heat. It's how they can absorb some of the wavelengths of the infrared energy and light that planets use to cool off. Visible light essentially passes right through all three of the molecules. That's why they are invisible to our eyes. We can see each other clearly. We can feel it when the air moves. Air is all around us with every breath we take. But we can't see clear, dry air. Carbon dioxide gas is invisible, just as is nitrogen and oxygen. All of the shorter wavelengths of energy contained in sunlight are hardly absorbed at all by any of these gases. Yet for carbon dioxide and the greenhouse gases, things get different. There are wavelengths of invisible light that travel, vibrating at just the very same frequency rate at which CO2 jiggles. That light energy can be captured. Longer wavelengths of light and heat energy that we humans are not able to see leave the Earth heading back to space. The Earth cools off during both the night and day glowing with invisible, long-wavelength infrared light. Some of these infrared frequencies can be trapped. When this invisible light tries to pass a CO2 molecule, the CO2 absorbs it and starts to jiggle, holding on to the energy that had been in the light. It's quite amazing what takes place in our invisible atmosphere, don't you think? What is different about the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide? Yes, they can trap heat because they can jiggle.